Good morning. We are so happy that you're here. We daily vlog, so if you enjoy this video, we hope that you'll return tomorrow. James and I are having a nice morning at home. We've been like having him be in his little car, like a drive-in, watching all of like the Toy Story shorts this morning. It is going to get up to like 48 degrees, so I plan on going to the park after nap time. Beep beep. Beep beep. We have some punchki on our, our jammies. We we bought six yesterday, so we have plenty to last us this week. Are you tired? Are you tired now? Maybe we'll be doing nap time earlier than expected. I'm getting my hair cut today. Peter's gotta go on a run and I took down all of Valentine's Day, so we're at least gonna like take out St. Patrick's Day and figure out where we're gonna put everything. Um, shoot, I still have like winter stuff up there. I took down Valentine's Day, but there's still winter stuff. So we'll see, today will hopefully be a switch over to spring. <laughs> This good girl also plans on getting a bath this week. She needs she needs her haircut, but we're I think we don't, I feel like we we think that we're jinxing the nice weather if we get her haircut because we want like her to have her coat to be warm in this Arctic tundra. Um but she's like so in need of a bath that we're just gonna give her a bath and then soon she'll have her spa day. Like, and she's all a fritz, especially when she has a, a one year old as a uh, companion who likes to sling yogurt from his high chair. I do feel like Ash Wednesday, which is today, um, is like the beginning of Easter and there's kind of this like renewed sense of hope that like spring is around the corner. We have missed out, hold on a second. <laughs> Were you doing yoga? I don't know if I got it totally. Let's see if I'll do it again. Oh gosh. I recently saw this meme about it being like a Midwestern, just like unexplainable feeling when it gets to be around 50 degrees. Um, and like you're turning that corner after such a long winter. Obviously, it could snow. Oh, I've seen snow in May before. Um, but it's like, it's officially been a year since we moved back as of like this weekend. And we just haven't had this like, this emotional feeling since we lived in Florida. So it's different. We're very excited. We are so ready for warmth. Sorry, James was on the move, so I had to get up. Um, but yeah, just excited for spring, excited for St. Patrick's Day. Um, and not only like enjoying James as a toddler now with the nicer weather and him walking, um, but we are gonna have another baby <laughs> this spring. Like May is spring. Are you almost done with work for the day? Uh, yeah, yeah, submitting almost some reports and I've been working on doing performance reviews for my team and mayor conversations so I'm just submitting those to the HR system super exciting stuff what are you what are you coming over here to tell us are you aware sir that the flower and garden start the flower and garden festival starts at Epcot today I am because you were watching some social media thing and it showed the Arepa <laughs> queso at the reinvented Encanto booth. booth, and I think we should fly down for literally just like we should fly down, <laughs> go in Epcot, get the rapists, go back to MCO, fly back. Evie cannot take either one of us going on a quick weekend trip again. I don't know if you can really see that that's James, but he is snoozing still. We started nap time like three hours ago at like 12.30. He did not go down until like almost one. 
he was goofing. But I didn't expect him to still be asleep. I wanted to take him to the park, um, but now I'm gonna go get my hair cut in like 10 minutes. So, it's not gonna be like super short, but it, it will be different. So, this might be, I know, I'm excited too. I, I usually am either like really long hair or really short hair. I mean, obviously there has to be the in-between, but like to go in and get it cut like, I'm gonna do like a long bob. It's gonna be different. So, last time you'll see my long, long hair. It's probably, do you think it's the longest it's ever been? Yeah, longer than I would have. Guess who woke up from their nap finally? Did you have a good nap? Uh, yeah? Oh gosh, Jamesy. We might have to get you, get you wrapped up and might have to go to the park while it's warm, while the sun's still up. Not every day that it's 58. What do you think? Fresh diaper, suit up, sock up, let's go. Playing the drums on Buzz, piloting the plane. Okay. Yeah. Alright, we're gonna head, head down to the park to see if it's busy. But it is gorgeous, it's like 59 degrees right now. Do you like this cool rock wall? <gasps> what? So we're almost, we're at the point that we can walk around the place at play around like a big kid. Um, and play with things. But we haven't done the slide just yet. It's good. It's good? Yeah. Yeah? I don't know why this place set is all the way up at the top of this slide, but He's loving it. Oh, you're just gonna climb up on this? You're gonna climb the fence and go take that? <laughs> Soon, soon this beautiful block will have budding green on the leaves and the trees. This is not a very gorgeous, gorgeous street during golden hour. Right, we just scoped out a couple books over at Unabridged Bookstore. Because Mommy's actually right next door getting her hair cut. Then we're gonna go to Walgreens and pick up some of her glasses if they got fixed. I don't know where we're going next. Guess what, James? Look who it is. I love it. It reminds me of the like bob you got after our wedding. It's longer than that. Yeah. Than, our, it's than your first bob. Than any other bob I've gotten. We'll just have to wait a couple of weeks yeah. and then you'll get it Hi, touched baby. up. Hi, baby. I like think we should like go out to like experience or somewhere. Should we chit chat on the way to Walgreens? Or we have to go to Walgreens or Big City Optimus? Both. Both. I have a picture to pick up and contacts. Well, he I realized that I never took the plate out of the front of that. What plate? He put that plate, his little bamboo plate <laughs> that he likes to carry around. He got books? He's kind of in his pajamas still, or his nap clothes, because I thought he would get dirty at the park, so I didn't change it. They're comfy. What the heck is going on here, James? Thank you. Okay, so we came to Sushi Plus on Broadway. It was very unexpected and very sudden. Yeah. <laughs> we like came in to look at the menu, and then they just like immediately sat us more like, okay. <laughs> So the rolls come around on the conveyor belt. It's stressful. <laughs> if you don't get it in time, you have to wait for it. But, but actually, if you if you don't see something that you like, you can order on here. So because I cannot eat raw fish, I ordered sesame chicken. Then these two rolls, and they already came out. And Jamie's 
Jamesy's enjoying the flaming Hot Cheeto. It came on top of this, like, what was this one called? I don't know. <laughs> it's, it's, so got, it's got Cheetos on it. <laughs> okay, look at this cute mug. I'm like debating. I might order my own of this. I didn't, I yeah. didn't show it. It's so good. Delicious chicken, fresh made with noodles. James is loving it. There's a lot going on for him to watch. Are you a happy child? Are all of your needs met? Are you satisfied with your life? These are the things I concern myself with. So good. We're a little messy. We don't have a bib. We weren't prepared. I'm going to put a picture in here of what I had asked for. It's just so funny because like I've had this haircut before. <laughs> the friends are chasing each other around like crazy. But it's just so funny to me. Like I've had this haircut before. I like it. I think it was very well done. She did a good job. And it's just like I can't wrap my mind around the fact that we talked about it being here. Like this long. Like it was supposed to be like a a nice change, but not as drastic. I was saying, I hope that, like, hopefully it'll grow, like, to that length by the time, like, Teddy gets here. Like, two and a half months? All right, Peter put on some music. Everything's out of the bin. For St. Patrick's Day, again, like, for Valentine's Day, we got a lot of my parents' decorations. I mean, we're still... We're still always celebrating Christmas. Um, but I wanna know below if anyone has seen this movie and if you know the secret of Rowan in it. This is our a family, a family classic. We had, we had some St. Patrick's Day stuff. And again, it's not like the caliber of Halloween or Christmas, even what we got from my mom's. Um, but we, do have a decent amount and I'm excited. I feel like, again, like what I was talking about, about spring, same thing. This is the last bit of Valentine's Day decor I had to take down. This is from a father-daughter dance. <laughs> Look at Christina and all the sass and me and my crooked glasses. And like, what is that smile from my dad? I loved a good monogram. <laughs> um, I'm switching out this picture. I mean, that picture is cute, but... I think this picture is cuter and more Valentine's y. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna switch this out and then pack it away. Also, comment below if you know what Walt Disney World restaurant this photo was taken. It's March 1st, you know what that means. Out with the winter and in with the St. Patty's Day. How did I hang this up here? Oh! Two for me shimmers. Two for me shimmers. Two for me shimmers. Two for me shimmers. Shiver me timbers? I meant to say, like when you chop a tree down. Timber! I got Irish music playing in James's room because I was getting the stuff. The St. Patrick's Day decorations out of the closet. I need to put away the Valentine's Day stuff and get this stuff down and put away so we can speak just a chilly St. Patrick's Day into this. It's not a bitter St. Patrick's Day. I don't, we don't have a, we have to get a container for these. No way. I look like, um, Ada from Piggy Blind. Oh! I will say, let's see if Sarah agrees. With Valentine's Day and St. Patrick's Day coming like right after the holidays and after Halloween. I was getting like a pit of nervousness getting ready to like decorate because it's like daunting for Halloween and definitely for Christmas. And you forget that we just have like those one little bins yeah. for each of those. And I just said on like on my last clip about like getting like meaningful stuff from my parents. Like this. And so and, this. and so it's nice that we have a little bit more than we usually would. I honestly feel like some St. Patrick's Day's Easter's, like we wouldn't even decorate. Like we would yeah. just like let the box sit and be like, 
it's all right. Like you just, you know, like not. I feel like we had more like kitchen St. Patrick's Day stuff. Yeah. Because we had like some glasses and some baking dishes. Yeah, and really, most of our stuff is hand-me-downs. Even like our cute music boxes. Um, I forget why the bleak music box that we have were from my grandparents, and everything else was like recent like wedding gifts too. So I want to put these on the window. <laughs> I got these from my mom. It took James a very long time to go to sleep. He was not thrilled. It's like over an hour, but he's down. He just really thinks we're fine. Yeah. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>